Okay, so I wanted to do a short discussion about the body armor uh, Gen 3 trail doors. As you can see, I've got them on my Jeep and I really like the way they look. Uh, when I ordered them, I got them because of that and I needed some trail doors or wanted something to give a little bit of uh, protection from maybe rocks or debris or whatever and also from people falling out if they're riding in the car. Um, but I've had some issues with them and the number one issue that I've noticed other people seem to have had online as well is the rattle of these doors. And so to give you an example of, of some of them well fitted and some of them not well fitted, I want to show you mine. So I had some friends who helped me mount my doors and one of them, this is my rear right passenger door, it is solid, it will not move, it is really well in there. You can see, I'm trying to get a good view here, you can see that the, the mechanism is really tight, it doesn't move. When you open it up, you can see kind of even where the, the teeth kind of come down on this. And to get it in, you need to push it in and push it down. And then when it clicks like this, it is solid. It does not move at all. Now, I cannot say the same. We'll go around the other side here. I cannot say the same for this other back door, although it's not the worst. So you can see that it's closed, but there's some rattle in it. And it doesn't matter where you mount it. Uh, I know that the, the clips are, sorry, the, the locking mechanism is adjustable, but it doesn't seem to matter what you do. Sometimes there is just not enough, enough closure between, you can see it's, it's in the right spot, but there's a little bit, you know, less than a millimeter of distance between where the little bolt here is and where the locking mechanism is. I suspect that's either due to imprecise machining or possibly even more to the power of the spring it's not causing enough compression but anyway it's super annoying most of the times it doesn't rattle but if you are uh, going on maybe cobblestones or uh, on brick or something like that or even on gravel it can just become maddening because how much rattling is going on so there are a couple solutions um, and one that I found that worked really well is cork a wine cork so there's a different solution for the front and for the back so for the front you can see that the uh, the bolt here is right behind this panel on the door and so the way to resolve this this vibration and rattling issue is to get a vibration isolator between there um, and so what I've done is I've taken a wine cork you can see, and I've taken some outdoor double-sided mounting tape, which is like maybe from 3M. And what you want to do is get a wine cork. You want to measure, measure the distance from the end of here to where it's going to hit on this panel, and then give it maybe an extra couple of millimeters so that there's some room for it to expand once the door is closed and cause some, some tension, some pressure in between there. So, you can see when this closes, again, you kind of have to push them up or in and down to really get them to lock, which is another gripe I have about these doors. But now there's a little bit of still rattling on this one, but not nearly as much with this causing it. Um, now you can see this is a regular wine cork. Um, I prefer a synthetic wine cork that is more rubber. Actually, a more permanent solution would be to get like a rubber stopper and drill it into here, but I just haven't found any good rubber stoppers that kind of fit the bill for that. It's either too long or it doesn't drill well or something. So eventually I'll find a solution, but uh, that seems like it would be the ideal. Um, now you may not be a person that has uh, just a ton of wine cork sitting around. I wasn't, so I got a whole bag of them for uh, I think like $2.50 from Hobby Lobby because they were on sale. But one thing you can see on this side is I got lucky there was a synthetic one, which is kind of rubber. And that does a much better job of uh, keeping, its, keeping its size. So regular cork is eventually over time, the compression is gonna become more permanent and it won't, won't cause as much, so you have to replace it. But this one hasn't really caused any problems. 
And the only downside, which is already a downside even for if you don't have this, but you have to push it in pretty hard and then push it down to get it to lock. And you can see that there's almost no vibration here. So anyway, that's how I've solved this issue. Um, I wasn't super pleased with it because whenever I talked to the salespeople who were at the uh, truck and Jeep Fest, um, they you know, assured me that they had worked out the vibration issues by Gen 3, and I think there's actually two versions of Gen 3, and I had the first one, so I might be, I might be one behind, but there's other locking mechanisms that would work better if they can't get enough compression on those, on those locking mechanisms. Uh, you could do something that's more like a vice grip or uh, maybe like a rubber, a rubber pull that goes and locks in. There's a bunch of other methods that would cause more compression there. Um, so that's my biggest gripe with these doors. But uh, their support's pretty helpful and uh, they still look good. So anyway, that's a good solution. Uh, if you are still having rattling trail doors, it's a good way to, oh, I forgot, so the back ones. Uh, this one is not a problem, but as you can see on this back door, you don't have the same, there's nothing to stop. And so what I've done is taken, you don't actually have to use an entire wine cork, but uh, you can make, maybe cut one in half. And what you'll wanna do is when it closes, you look at this space right in between here and find something that will fit in between there. Uh, and a cork seems to do the job, maybe not as good as you would hope, but get enough tension. And now it's really hard for that to rattle around and, and that solves that issue as well. And that uh, ironically doesn't actually work. I don't know if you can even see that there would have done, but yeah. Uh, so anyway, there, that causes enough tension to where it doesn't rattle around, but that doesn't work on the front because uh, there's, there's not the same amount of space in between. Um, but you could also tape that or drill it into the side of your door, uh, something that looked a little bit better, especially if you had a rubber, rubber stopper, and uh, that'll cause that vibration to stop. So anyway, uh, good luck. I hope you're able to find a solution that works as well, and the maddening rattling uh, will stop for you as well. Thanks for your time.